Hi and welcome to this month's Decret News Update. The Decret stakeholders have cast their votes and voting has concluded. All four consensus changes have been approved and will be activated in the upcoming hard fork, which will occur in about one week's time from the release of this video. You can check the progress at voting.decret.org. The most substantial change is the block reward subsidy. To stop proof-of-work mining cartels from having too much control of Decred's markets, the proof-of-work subsidy reward is being decreased from 60 to only 10%. Those who actively watch Decred's markets may notice irregularities and random pump and dumps occurring, scaring away new investors. This change was the fastest way possible to put a stop to that. The other part of the subsidy change is the staking reward is increasing from 30% to 80%, making staking significantly more attractive to Decred holders and new investors. Community member Applesawsome has broken down the subsidy change on Twitter. Staking rewards will increase 2.6 times, making for a 10% yield on a layer 1 store of value protocol. This makes the reward of Decred staking now competitive with DeFi yield farming. At 11 Decred rewarded per block, Proof-of-work miners will only receive 1.1 DCR per block mined, with 8.78 DCR going to the chosen tickets of stakeholders. Since there are 5 tickets included in every block, each ticket will have a vote reward of 1.76 DCR. The treasury subsidy remains the same at 10%, making it equal to the proof-of-work reward of 1.1 DCR. Now let's quickly review the other approved consensus changes. The revert treasury expenditure policy changes the algorithm used to calculate treasury spending limits, such that it enforces the policy originally approved by stakeholders in the decentralized treasury protocol. The explicit version upgrades vote provides an easy, reliable, and efficient method for software and hardware to determine exactly which rules should be applied to transaction and script versions. The automatic ticket revocations vote improves the Decred stakeholder user experience by removing the requirement for stakeholders to manually revoke missed and expired tickets. Let's dive into other development news. Vote transactions now display your vote choices when there is an ongoing consensus vote. Alerts are in place if any votes don't align with what the wallet currently has set. An educational staking tab is being added to Decrediton so users more clearly understand how the staking process works. DCR DEX login will be skipped once the DEX is initially launched. This should make loading up the DEX faster and improve general workflow. Per account encryption is now automatic for restored wallets. Performance improvements have been made in the Transactions History tab. Notably, rows are now loaded gradually using the Infinite Scrolls functionality, which will reduce bottlenecks and sluggishness. An alert is now in place in the Governance tab when using any unupgraded VSP. The UI now more clearly notifies users about new Politeia and consensus votes. A Treasury Spending tab has been introduced. This is where users will vote on treasury spends. Now looking at the Decred mobile wallet, the transaction sending page has been reworked to provide users with more context of a successful transaction. The seed input restore page is now protected against screenshots. Users are now notified if available disk space is low. An icon has been added to hide and show wallet balance on the overview page. Initial DEX integration work is still ongoing for GoDCR, a new lightweight desktop wallet app with integrated staking, privacy, and Politea browsing. Many developer repos have also been updated, making improvements, fixing bugs, and fixing various typos, among other tweaks. SPV mode has been finished for the DCR DEX and will be available in the next update. This means users can trade using SPV mode for both DCR and BTC, never needing full nodes. The DCR registration UI has been improved so that it's more clear as to how paying the registration fee works. The DEX also has many new features and coins on the way. DEX developer Jonathan Chapelo reports that Zcash is nearly ready. F swaps are grinding on testnet and multiple swap coordinators are prepping. Dogecoin support has also been completed, with Dogecoin swaps between both Bitcoin and Decred having been executed on mainnet. Litecoin has been switched to SegWit contracts on the DEX. Tor hidden service support has also been added to the DEX. Speaking of DEXs, Decred is now being considered for the upcoming DEX Haveno, which is funded by the Monero community. It does not use atomic swaps, so it can support fiat currency pairs, making it a possible on-ramp for Decred in the future if it is added. The Decred DEX tutorial has arrived. 
getting up and running on the DEX is super easy now that we have an integrated Bitcoin wallet, an SBV node built right into Decred's graphical wallet to credit on. With no intermediary tokens and no KYC, getting set up is actually faster than any centralized exchange. You can find the tutorial on the Decred YouTube channel or wherever Decred videos are hosted. I'll select place order to buy DCR. I'll confirm the order and enter my DEX password. My order has been placed, matched, and filled. The user interface now shows that my Bitcoin is locked. Now I just have to wait for the atomic swaps to settle on chain. This usually takes around 30 minutes, but can vary depending on the matching and how busy the Bitcoin and Decred networks are. Once the status is executed, the atomic swaps have settled and the trade is complete. I can check the atomic swaps and look at the on-chain fees I paid. For this swap, I only paid about 68 cents in Bitcoin and less than one cent in DCR. Looking back at Decrediton, I now have 40 Decred in my wallet. I was able to go from 0 DCR to 40, utilizing peer-to-peer -peer atomic swap technology with no KYC requirements, and no fees paid to the DEX. Decred's privacy protocol, CoinShuffle++, will soon be tested and simulated with peer-to-peer -peer mixing, as opposed to using a central server. Binance Exchange listed Decred as one of the top privacy coins on its platform in a blog post. Decred project lead JQ Compiat tweeted out that Decred has decentralized several public utilities, while most cryptocurrency projects just focus on one or a few things. Given that Decred has a suite of governance features allowing the protocol to upgrade and get more decentralized over time, Decred stakeholders can only wait for what is to come. Community member Apple Sawsome has written a cloud-based Decred full node tutorial using DigitalOcean. Why run a full node, you might ask? Full nodes are the backbone of the Decred network. By validating and broadcasting transactions without relying on third parties, they help keep the network decentralized. Each full node added to the network adds to its security and robustness. The Decred bug bounty program has been updated. A total of 228 submissions have been processed so far, with 21 of them being eligible for a payout. Details of these vulnerabilities can be made public now. One submission is not yet public. Congrats to Alex and Adifi Singh who have been listed into the Hall of Fame. Thanks to community member Dagiri for running the bug bounty program. You can check it out for yourself at bounty.decred.org. Unfortunately, there were no Politea proposals this past month. As a reminder, anyone is free to submit proposals to Politea, Decred's governance platform, in order to improve Decred and get funding from the Decred DAO. Visit Politea by going to proposals.decred.org. Decred integration into ThorChain is still underway and making progress. Thanks to FST underscore NML for putting up a bounty to get Decred added. We also had another Decred state of the market live stream. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be huge. It's going to be so easy to market Decred once you've got a fully decentralized exchange. Um, you know, once, and I said this that, to you That's before. why I tell people new to Decred, I'm like, hey, we have a DEX. If you want to buy some, we have a really easy way. There's, yeah. there's, and a lot of people get excited because you say, oh, there's no KYC. There's no trading yeah. fees. They're like, oh. I like that, <laughs> you know. No, that's um, obviously once the stable coins are added, you go you go buy your stable coin on Coinbase, send it to the Dex, do your swaps. So that'll be a great way to first get into Decred. Your first Decred you buy via an atomic swap. Really yeah. cool. Yeah. No, I think I think it's definitely the future. Decred Society has created a website called decredsociety.com dedicated to Decred, covering news, Decred related ideas, and other aspects. Apple Sawsome also posts technicals and other information. It's a great way to follow Decred. I strongly recommend subscribing. Decred Society has also released videos talking about the history of Decred and comparing soft forks versus hard forks. The hard fork versus soft fork debate is shrouded in mystery and misinformation. In this video, we'll examine some of the key points of these arguments and look at why Decred is working towards becoming the first blockchain to be hard fork only. All software needs to be updated to fix issues, increase performance and improve security and blockchain protocols are no different. In blockchain, those updates are called fork and there are two kinds of updates, soft fork and hard fork. Decred makes this process look easy and is one of the benefits of the project understanding the importance of formal governance from day one and also understanding that coin holders need a bigger say in how a monetary system progresses. To date, Decred has had no less than six hard fork consensus changes without any disruption to the network. It's for this reason you won't find a Decred Cash, a Decred Classic, a Decred Gold, a Decash, Decred TV, which is Taka's vision of course, or any other contentious hard fork version of the original project. 
Throughout Decred's short six year life, the project has achieved many new frontiers in an environment that requires innovation and careful processes to maintain the security and integrity of the protocol. In this time, Decred has upgraded its consensus no less than six times without causing a chain split or a contentious hard fork, proving that good governance and a systemized approach to conflict resolution can be achieved. A large part of this is due to its self-funded nature, with no external backers steering the direction of the project whilst pushing for short gains, Decred is able to achieve so much more. The first three years were predominantly about building the core features and proving that the concepts are sound and secure. The next three years is where it gets really, really interesting. Decred is a living and evolving beast that sets itself a target of finding and solving problems that others can only talk about. Now let's check out some Decred network stats. The Decred treasury currently has 786,162 DCR and is worth 44 million US dollars at an exchange rate of $56 per DCR. The total coin supply is 13,985,812 DCR, which means the chain is 66.5% mined. 60% of the circulating supply has been mixed via Decred's in-wallet mixing service called Stake Shuffle. The hash rate is 279.26 peta hashes. The current ticket price is 227.20 DCR. Currently, 8,830,472 DCR is staked, representing 63.14% of the circulating supply, a new all-time high for staking. The current blockchain size is 8 gigabytes. Thanks for watching this news update. Check out decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.